So here we go again. Uh, <laughs> I would like to basically show you how to do a bold plot or an amplitude frequency plot by just using a oscilloscope, a digital storage oscilloscope and a function generator. Uh, so yeah, this is the device that we would be testing. That's just an op amp in a non-inverting configuration, nothing special. We used this previously uh, as a microphone preamplifier. So we had some problems with the with the conference microphone, but anyway, you have to basically just go to your waveform gen and set it to do to sweep to do linear either linear or log logarithmic sweep. So what you have to do is set a start frequency and a stop frequency. Currently, I've set here 10 hertz till up to 5 megahertz, and a sweep time. That's, that's the time between the start and the stop frequency, so, so it is currently set to one second. Um, what else you should do and where the, the key thing hides is you have to also set up the triggering or you have to set up the generator to, to generate a sync pulse. So I basically set it to provide a trig out pulse on the rising edge it doesn't really matter would it be rising or falling as we'll be we'll be triggering on pulse width then with the scope but you basically connect this to the external trig input to the oscilloscope uh, yeah here it kind of looks how how the waveform should should look I can also possibly just show you uh, how it looks so I can disconnect uh, connect these together so you kind of get the idea maybe okay let's switch over to log sweep as it would be easier to see so you see it starts with lower frequency and then logarithmic create just increases the frequency up to the the set stop point uh, well the linear thing is well practically the same I think it will be okay I can one I can run one trig and then zoom in and try to uh is that noise uh what a fail why okay let's do that again yes okay. yeah so you, if you scan through you see okay now the frequency gets lower and lower and lower uh, anyway uh, nothing really special so let me set turn back the settings as they were 100 milliseconds per division. Let's 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 run it continuously. Now, what I need to do is so I, I connect the scopes input to the output of my op amp, which is by the way TL072. It was or used to be a low noise amplifier 40 years ago. Uh, then battery's going low. We connect the input to our circuit. Hopefully, it starts working. Yeah, so you can possibly see. Okay, by the way, you can also see the trig pulse. I turned on channel four, and I I trigger on channel four, so so you can see the purple, the purple pulse, and I trigger on pulse width, not on edges. Uh, we can now possibly. Yeah, so you kind of get the idea and see the bold plot. So I will just remove or abstract the lower axis. Or the yeah, and we can we can see the frequency dependence of our circuit. So I'll just set the zero point or one hertz point to start from here. So you can see a pretty good. Uh, linear scale we are currently on linear linear mode so now if I change this to log we have start 10 hertz top 5 megahertz if I, if I change this to log you can actually see the frequency response of the op amp that we have you can see so your two zeros as well sorry your two poles yeah probably there's hundreds of poles in here uh, let's try to change this to, I don't know, maybe 50 megahertz. Oops. 
There we go. Right, man, hurry up. So we have, yeah, pretty much now that's how the amplitude frequency response of our circuit looks like. Um, yeah. So. Perfect.